chat about Cristiano Ronaldo. We're very much looking forward to what Jan has to say about everything that's gone on over the weekend where we've learned that Cristiano Ronaldo has told Manchester United he wants to leave this summer if the right bid comes in. Jan, is this not a kick up the backside for Manchester United to do everything they can to keep hold of this player? Well, it's unbelievable these days to be a Man United fan, isn't it? And this is timing of the century. They're just waiting for one player to get in. Anyone, just get us a player, anyone, to get into Manchester United. And the, other, the only one who kind of produced, get goals for them, choose stand this time to say, I am leaving. I mean, we, we saw the, the last two weeks that Jorge Mendes, he offered Ronaldo to any club in the world. I mean, I'm at my home club nor in Norway now. I just waited for him to offer Ronaldo to my home club. But <laughs> well, we never thought that this was real. We thought this was just kind of thing that gets some more money and so on. And then this weekend, before Ten Hag has any player, well, there is no one left to buy at Ajax anyway because they're going to other clubs. And then he comes out and says this. So, yes, this is... I'm not, I won't say disrespectful because... Cristiano Ronaldo is in an age that every year will count for him, but timing is unbelievable. The guys were talking about it on yesterday's show, Stevie, and there was a real feeling of why now. But the word is, is that he likes Ten Hag, but he's not happy that there haven't been new signings, or he's not that over enamoured by maybe some of the new signings that they've been linked with. Makes complete sense. You know, I don't, I don't think he's been a mercenary about this. I think he does have some loyalty to the club, and I think maybe. What you've just said about the fact that nobody's come in, he's probably went, you know what, I need to think about myself. I've only got a couple of years if I'm lucky at the highest level and I can't afford to be part of a project. And this, by the way, looks as though it's turning out to be not a project, but an absolute shambles. So he doesn't want anything to do with that. And, and quite frankly, I don't blame him. And I think he's doing them a favour because with him leaving, if he does go, that, that will... Listen, the, the expectation this year for Manchester United was pretty low anyway. But the fact that he goes, if he goes, will completely take away any expectation, regardless of the name Man United. What they have and the position they find themselves in, this might actually end up being good for them. They can just clean everything out and start again and let Ten Hag do a job. Because if Cristiano Ronaldo's there and he doesn't want to be there, it's going to go the opposite way. It's going to be an absolute... I said a shambles. What's worse than a shambles? Disaster? <laughs> yeah, the Fiasco. thing, the, Fiasco, the thing for me is, I agree with Stevie, if the real reason was the fact that he couldn't sign anybody, and yesterday we heard that Frankie de Jong will stay maybe in Barca, or maybe they're bluffing because they want more money. But the real reason was, I don't want to stay because we don't play the Champions League. So it's why we say, why now? Yesterday, because... Uh, he could have said that like a month or two months ago and tried to find another club. So we don't have the reason why he said that. Mm. But I think it's, uh, it's kind of sad to see, and for the fans especially, to see that uh, the best player that they had last season wants to leave. What do you think of what the guys have said about it here in the studio, Jan, with Stevie saying that perhaps he's actually doing United a favour? Well, I don't, I don't agree on this being said for all year that the big problem of Manchester United is Cristiano Ronaldo. I mean, if that is your biggest problem, then the analysis that Manchester United should start all over again. I understand what Stevie is saying in terms of maybe they can start and expectations and we see the numbers that Cristiano Ronaldo, Ronaldo is very important for them. But you have to replace 24 goals in the Premiership. And you've seen a lot of clubs now searching for that number nine, that goal score. It's hard to find. But I think that is something here behind that we, we don't know about. I, I guess that Jorge Mendes and Cristiano Ronaldo, there have been some deadlines. The, the, the so-called project, we, we have to see that we are coming in players and so on and so on. So I think there is something more to this than, than we are to, to be seen. This I respect Ten Hag, but I, I, I'm not sure that I want to stay here. I'm not buying that. I'm just buying that Manchester United haven't delivered and the, the, the prolific man, the most prolific man at Manchester United don't believe in them. And I mean, that is a really, really kick to them because Manchester United going into this season, they need some fresh blood. And if they think that Ten Hag is enough, it's not enough. It's not enough even in the management part of the club. Um, and we now haven't started by how, how to get more players in or better players in. So who would be enough then? 
Well, at first of all, I think that the main thing, and we've discussed this before, I mean, if the Manchester United fans think it's enough to get in players, they've tried that for a couple of years, have a look how much money they have spent to get in players, that is not enough. Manchester United is, from structure here, terrible. Uh, I've, I've, we've said that we've talked to a lot of agents, we've talked to a lot of people, how Manchester United are structured. Have a look with the, with, uh, of the club that they compare. We can compare them on the pitch. Uh, then they're losing games. If we start comparing them with the structure of Manchester United, how the recruitment department is organised, how the management is organised, they're even further down at the table, I'm afraid to, uh, to say that to the Manchester United fans. It's a fact r nowadays that Manchester United doesn't attract top players. Like Arsenal, uh, and it's the same thing. They went so much down, you know, after Wenger and, and for Manchester United after Sir Alex Ferguson, that they're not competitive enough to attract top, top players. It was um, because of the excuse of nostalgia that maybe Ronaldo came or because maybe he would have signed for Manchester City that suddenly somebody uh, got, got on him and said, no, 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 you cannot and signed for Manchester United. But that's the main problem that they have, that they couldn't be successful after Sir Alex Ferguson. Therefore, big players rather go to uh, Real Madrid, Manchester City, Chelsea, Bayern Munich or even Juventus. Oh. I think, but, but if, I, I think what's even worse though, Man United, and I'm, and I'm thinking about my old team at Liverpool, you know, when Liverpool went from the top and started falling down the league, yes, it was because they didn't bring in the right players and they didn't have the right manager, had exactly the same thing that Man United are doing. The difference between what's happening at United now is that everything is toxic. As bad as Liverpool was... It wasn't a toxic atmosphere all the time. It was, a, it was a disappointing atmosphere. It was a, we need to get better and we need to find a way of getting back to the good old days. Whereas at Manchester United, it's, it's, I, if I'm a player, I don't want to go anywhere near it because it's just toxic. Everything goes wrong. Nobody wants to be there. Yeah. Never mind even try. Yeah, it's, 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 go, on, go on, Jan. Yeah, I just, I just think you know, it's, it's an organisation where half of the organisation are in the back in the Sir Alex Ferguson days, and that is ages ago, that everybody should expect them to be Manchester United players. That is the biggest thing uh, that could happen to you. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer said, always said the same. He said, oh, yeah, they should be proud to play for Manchester United. But I think that if you look at this as a project, and if you see when Mane w went to Bayern Munich, Ma Bayern Munich was surprised that he, in the first meeting, said, yes... I need a new challenge. Yes, I want to play to, for Bayern Munich because I feel the atmosphere. I, I feel the, the performance culture at this club. I want to be a part of that. F footballers, we may be not the most bright people in the world, but we do understand how the environment is built in a club. This easy thing that we want to play in the Champions League, easy thing about money, important, yes. But you also have to come to an environment that attracts you, that you want to play football. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.